basically I want to show you four rules that I always coach, that I always teach and that I also use myself when I'm writing a sales email. And the number one rule is, is KISS. Really easy to remember and KISS stands for keep it short and simple. If you look at a classic person that you're targeting, might be a VP sales, might be a, a C-level person, might be a VP of marketing, depending of, on, on which company you're working for and what their ideal customer profile is. I'm sure these people receive tons of emails by BDRs and SDRs each day. Also me and we are running a very, very small startup with 10 employees. I'm receiving several emails a day from BDRs trying to sell something to me. So you need to be very accurate. You need to be very clear and crisp when it comes to the messaging and not basically flood my inbox with the features you have on the platform. But keep it short, keep it simple. There's an easy test that you can do. And that is, it should be one mobile screen long, the email. So in case somebody receives that mail, they do not need to scroll down and look at all the features that you have on the platform, but come to the point. So kiss, keep it short and simple. Rule number two, um, cut the bullshit and nail the tone. Um, cut the bullshit means I said it in the beginning, we've got this marketing filter and the sales language filter already made up in our mind. And if we read another email that says we are the best company in the world, we increase your revenue by 50% and help you lower budgets by 80%, all of that, we are just going to shut down. So we are hypersensitive to that language. And you as a, as a salesperson, as an SDR or VDR, you need to make sure you don't smell like a salesperson. Come to the point and, and make it clear why you target them, why you choose them. That's one of my favorites. Rule number three, simple yes or no style CTA. CTA is a call to action, uh, if you've never heard that before. And it's basically the, the question that you ask at the end of an email. So that could be, um, are you interested in a topic? Are you familiar with that? Whatever you write, just make sure it's a really simple yes or no style call to action. Rule number four, um, follow up. Very important. Uh, be relentless. You, you got to be a, a pit bull if you're on sales. Don't send out one email and then wait for the answer. And if nobody answers, just let it be. But make sure you follow up at least two times to your first email, as said and be, be, be relentless, really just hunt them down. Hard work pays off.